What's up guys, it's me Lizzie and welcome back to another episode of Night in the Woods. Um, I'm not really sure what happened in the last episode, I don't really remember. I think we went to the party. I'm breaking my watch. I don't know, so we're just gonna get right in and continue with this craziness. Oh right, we were, we were stealing things, I remember. My little turtle, he, he has, wait a second here, he has, he has a hat, but he keeps falling over. And it makes me sad. That's where my mental state is right now. All right, so we convinced B to steal something, I believe. All right, I'm gonna run it. Uh, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Um, okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. Uh, I'm great at crimes. Um, but what if you get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. <laughs> Okay, that was not a good idea. Let's go. Uh, okay, but if I if I'm if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Join the club. Alrighty. So what do we gotta do to distract this character? Hey. Uh huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are twenty percent off. Yeah, I saw it. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The uh, okay. Wait. Do we have to control B? Uh, the name of the store. Yeah? Uh, ha, you probably get a lot of questions. You gotta probably get this question a lot. Uh, try me. Uh, so, what do you, uh, what time do you get off later? Um, is it like you revolution or like your revolution? Uh, so, what time do you get off later? Uh, are you flirting with me? <laughs> um... Maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe no, but I play hard to get, but I do play hard. Uh, sorry, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> oh, it, it's okay, I feel you. <laughs> Awkwardness, am I right? Oh, I... Oh, I see, thought, I sensed something when I walked in. Uh, okay. God damn it! Sorry, I made this weird. Why are you being... Sorry, I made this weird. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Uh, oh, oh good. Yeah. At first you weirded me out, but now I'm wondering if this, uh, why this hasn't happened before. Uh, I'm sure someday the right customer will harass you. <laughs> I don't even think you made it to harassment. Uh, yeah, to that ground to a pretty... Whoa, I can't speak. Yeah, that ground to a halt pretty quick. Uh, okay, I'm done looking, let's go. Um, okay, was I talking to you by now? <laughs> Uh, me too. Uh, see ya. Honestly, me too. That's every conversation that I've ever had with anybody. Why did I do that? Uh, you did so well, B. Uh, I call- I call the cops on shoplifter- on shoplifters at my own store. This- Uh, what did you get? Uh, haven't you ever- have- haven't you even shoplifted before? Let's go with what did you get. Some kind of necklace thing. Nice, nice. Oh god. Forget it, we're- we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like, uh, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kinda sick. Let's walk it off. Is she gonna throw up too? Oh, okay, we're actually gonna walk it off. Uh, let's- can we- can we- can we- can we- can we go upstairs, or- No? Can we just walk? Cause we can't jump. Oh wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Uh, did you ever- did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Uh, yeah, I'd li- uh, I did like squirt people. Still have no idea how they did that. Uh, I always assumed it was just some guy in there with a squirt gun. <laughs> I assumed it was just- Just a guy there with a squirt gun just shooting people as I walked by. Uh, no, it was totally a fountain. They tricked- they tricked out to squirt people. Uh, that's amazing. Like, you know- the walkway way up there, past the upper food court thing, uh, up in the atrium. The what? <laughs> the ceiling, the glass part that points up. Uh, I know what an atrium is. E yeah? <laughs> um, when I was a kid, uh, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know, just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like eating a burger and trying to see if, uh, see if I could see God. Um, like peeking over or something. Uh, looks like they got some weird hanging art up there now. 
Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. Alrighty. So I guess we're not gonna go see the, the red things hanging from the ceiling. What's going on over here? Uh, you up for eating? Uh, let's check out the rest of the mall first. Yeah, let's check out the rest of the mall first. I'm interested to see what, what else is here. Work up an appetite. I was kinda hungry when we got here. If you're hungry, then I guess we can eat. Let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. Uh, see, that wasn't hard. Yeah, I guess if you're hungry, we can eat. That's fine. Uh, what did you get? Uh, you inhaled it before I got a look. Um, pizza taco from Gopher. Uh, pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. Pizza taco from Gopher. Uh, Gopher is some good garbage food. Uh, yeah, I wish we'd get it. We'd get one in town. Ooh, that would be bad for me. Uh, it'd be worth it. Stormy rain clouds. What? Remember when Kathy De uh, Deminko pulled out Cindy Clark's uh, nose ring here? <laughs> you know what was... You know the... You know what that was about, right? Uh, wasn't Kathy pregnant with what's his with what was his name? Football guy, um, Ron Boonstra. I didn't know uh, you knew about that. Uh, well, I mean, there was the first football game. I mean, well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up at the sideline and yelled at the stands. My first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy D Domingo. Uh, that's something. Uh, Kathy was in marching band, and I think she, uh, I think, and she was crying, I think. And when he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh yeah, see, that's the part I know about. Uh, that's what set off the whole nose ring situation. Well, I mean, if, I guess that was kind of warranted, because, like, if you got somebody pregnant, and you were like, yeah, I love her, here, this is for my firstborn and my, my beautiful girlfriend. And then you just run off with this other girl a week later. That's not okay. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. I wonder what Ron's doing. I wonder what happened to Cindy. What's Kathy up to now? Because I feel bad for her. Well, I, uh, last year Ron had his, this ATV accident. And somehow Kathy and him got to talking after that. Oh, that's good. And they got married. Woo! Huh? Uh, yeah, Ron's parents set him up uh, out on a double wide out in Brittle. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs, a brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of the story is? Um, the sordid high school drama? Cindy having something ripped out of her face? Ron? Cindy having something ripped out of her face? Uh, at this, at the time, I was like, uh, God moves things around the strangest ways to bring two people together. Mm, I guess. I don't know if I even believe in God. If you believe in God, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go with the second one. Well, it used to make more thing, it used to make things make more sense at least. Um, I think about this place, uh, the fountain and the God walk away and stuff. Um, not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. It did the night, the naiveness of childhood. Uh, not um, now, not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Uh, helped knowing, helped knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired from the t now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. Um, when I was at school, yeah, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? Uh, <laughs> I dropped out. Um, I want to run around the, uh, you want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run, there's not really much else to run around. Uh, we can check out the weird badass up badass art upstairs. Uh, I want to touch it. Please don't. Uh, I want to run. Um, you run. I'm gonna sit here. I'm tired and and, and sad now. Oh, suit yourself. Okay, let's go. Let's do some running, some jumping. Uh, ooh, smelters. Ooh. Book rook. Can I talk to this little bird guy? What's what a mess. <laughs> I can't believe this place. Um, even has more lights on anymore. Vibes music. Let's go upstairs so we can touch the pretty artwork. The beautiful artwork. 
Up we go. Can I? Ooh. Please don't fall. I don't trust myself not to fall. Can I like jump on top of the artwork? Cause that'd be pretty sicko. Oh, I can! Yes. I'm so happy. Okay, we're doing that again. Okay. Can I jump on that little one or can I only jump on those two? I guess I can't jump on that little one. Okay, I guess I have to make it to the, the, the one further to the right. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Can I go on? Ooh, I can. Ooh. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Oh, wow. Uh, this is... What did you do? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Whoa, hey! Who is this character? Who is this person? Who are these suspicious people? What do I do? Ah, yay! <laughs> we splashed somebody! <laughs> oh my god! Can I splash some more people? Can I splash some more people? Can I do it? Who's calling me? Sorry, my friendos are kind of trying to contact me. Lizzie has friends? Oh my god! I didn't know. Okay, back to Squirtigun. That sounded weird. <laughs> I was gonna say back to Squirtigun people's heads. Mm. I need to like charge it up. Then once the little things go, Squirt, come on. <laughs> Splash on people's heads. I'm gonna say splash now because squirting sounds really weird. Come on. Go. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Oh, I get it now. Ah, oh, come on. I keep missing. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. One more, one more, we gotta do one more. Everything good comes in threes. There we go, direct it. <laughs> yeah, we, we made B happy. We can angle it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, almost. Okay, let's try that again. Yay! Okay, can we get down? Oh, May, I know that's you. Ooh, we got, okay, we gotta shoot B. Angle it back a little bit. Not too much, okay. Ah, oh, we can't shoot B. I thought that was what we had to do. Another direct hit. Oh, May, are, how are you doing that? Do we just keep going until she says something else? Is that what we're doing? I'm a little bit confuzzled. Just a little bit, not a lot. Stop, I'm gonna die. Okay, well, I want to. I don't know how to... How to stop. How do I... How do I... How do I stop? I don't want to spray people anymore. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I? Okay, someone's gonna call the cops. Okay, I want to get down. How, mm. Release me from this icy prison. Okay, I want to stop. I don't know how though.
Oh, okay. Beatrice and Tello. Uh, don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones. Uh, oh, wow, is that you, God? <laughs> yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I thought that was, like, I was worried for a second, because I thought it was, like, the, like, the PA of the mall, like, um, being, like, Beatrice, uh, like, uh, like, catching her for stealing something. I don't know how they would have known her name, but it's fine. Uh, I didn't know you had a last name, Silence Mortal, though my fist monster, I have laid waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again, and uh, you and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Ha, uh, we, yeah, we should probably get out of here, ha, uh, before you get arrested. Ha, uh, the cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up, <laughs> for I am gone and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. I have, uh, have a good one, mortal. Oh, right. I'm really happy that we went to the mall with B. Instead of, I forget where where it was that we were going to go with Greg, but I'm happy that we went to the mall with B. Um, because it's not sticking to sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here, but she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, yeah, we stole some shit. Here's that shit. We don't want you to. Uh, we don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault. The world is, is like the way it is. What you stole this? Uh, you're just a cog in a much bigger machine. <laughs> to blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. He's gonna blame you, man, or she's gonna blame you. You're so you're s returning stolen merchandise. Uh, one day, folks like you are gonna are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole. Thing. <laughs> We're leaving. Uh, stay strong, beautiful dreamer. You can. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? <laughs> okay. At least we didn't get in trouble or anything. That's good. Uh, this place used to be something. Uh, I mean, it still is something. Uh, nah. It's just a big, mostly empty thing, in a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you have to work with what you have. Let's never come back. Let's never come here again. Uh, you don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, for Lucen, well, Fort Lucen used to be used to be something. Now Fort Lucen's over. Uh, let's go. Uh, let it die in peace. Let it die. Um, I want to drive on the way home. Nope. I don't think B would ever let you drive her car. We have a new thingamadoodle, Bandit Queens, oh yes, um, of the Fort Lucen Mall, ah ha ha ha, ta-da, it's Selmer's, a poet, I love this one, ta-da, it's Selmer's, a poet, and what a wonderful poet Selmer's is. Let's talk to, let's talk to our pa. Sup, dad, uh, heard you had a wild time last night. I did, I didn't drink, uh, it works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Uh, here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow. Hold on. Let me write that down. That's some good advice right there. It's complicated, I know. Thanks for the advice, Dad. It, it, a little bit useless, but thank you very, very much. Okay. Let's go to bed. Let's start a new day. And such and so forth. Let's... Yeah. Let's do that. I want to... Greg. Uh, hey, hey, dude. Uh, what did you do tonight? Nothing much. Uh, stole something for Angus. It's a surprise. Uh, wow, what is it? Uh, hold on for a sec. Holy crap, I gotta go talk to you later. Okay, Rudo. Uh, okay. Uh, alrighty. Hey, cool mall times. Uh, pretty cool mall times, yes. Uh, I hope you didn't make too much of a mess uh, what, uh, with the fountain. Who's we? <laughs> I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with mall water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Uh, well, the world will tell the world my story. They must know. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. Uh, is that... It is a trauma I shall bear forever. Alrighty. Uh, look. 
shark. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to sleep. Bedtime. Uh, yes, it is bedtime. Because I, I would play the bass, which is really the only other thing that I would do today, but I don't really want to right now. I don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. Uh, ooh, we're in the dream again. I love the dreams. They're so cool. And we get, oh, we can jump so much higher in the dream. Is this? Who is this man? Looks like Greg. But is it Greg? That's the question. Can we go this way? Ooh, are we just supposed to light all the lights? Ooh, I can never tell what I'm supposed to jump on. In. Ooh. That's a very pretty tune you're playing, Mr. Bird, but I don't know who you are. That way is just blackness and darkness and death. What do we do? What? Oh, we can go up here. See, I never know what I can jump on. Can I jump on windowsills? No? What do I jump on? This is an issue, I don't know! Up we go. Over we go. What is there to jump on? This thing. Oh, okay. I, I kind of figured. That is a very... eclipsy moon. <laughs> Ooh! Are these some constellations? What are they of? Before I go up there, I want to see what was on the other way- other end of the rope. Before I go- this is so pretty! Look at all these colors! Look at all these pretty colors! So pretty! Okay, let's go up this way. See what's over there, and if there's nothing over there, we'll go back the other way. But you know, there's probably something over here. I cannot see. In the slightest. Okay, wait. Let's get up on this thing. Ooh. Ooh, lanterns. Ooh, he's playing a tuba! That's a great tuba you got there. Okay, so there's nothing else over there. Let's go the other way then. Walking up. I'm gonna jump over there because it's a little bit faster. These constellations, man. They tell a story. What story? I don't know yet, but I'm gonna find out. This is so pretty! Ah! That lantern scared me. My hair is bothering me too. Who's gonna be playing over here? Ooh, it's a saxophone bird. Cool. What's over here? Nothing to jump on. What about you? Ooh, an accordion. Is there a light near you? Yes? Alrighty, there is. You know, these lamps don't provide that much light. They're kind of useless. Uh, what else do we do? Do we just... Is there ever really a goal in the dreams? Like, do we ever really have something to do in them? Or are they kind of just a little doot? A little doodly doot over here. I will take this chance to say that I really love this game. I think this is one of my favorite story games that I have ever played. Because it's very, like I said before, it's the characters are all animals and it kind of doesn't make any sense um, that there are animal animals and then there's like humanoid animals but it, it's fine it's a game um, but I really like how how real it is like this like how well it um, it illustrates the small town feelings um, if you like live in a small town or if you live in just like a small community I really like the way it portrays that. Okay, so can we wake up? I don't want to save and quit, I just want to wake up. Like, what's what's the goal? What's the goal here? What do I do? Just, that way is just like, darkness. The other way is just like, darkness. I don't know what to do. Guide me, somebody please. 
Do we have to do something with you? You're kind of scary, you know? Can I go up here? I can't, but there's nothing up here. It's all the same. I've lit that one up already. It's all the same. I can't go in the trees. Oh. Oh, never mind. I found what we were supposed to do. What are you? Oh my god. You're kind of scary, man. You're kind of scary. That's a bright light. You're kind of scary. That was a big bear. Is this a new part? New part? No? Okay. That was a weird dream. Alright, May, let's go. Let's start a new day. No space dragon right now. We gotta find out what we're doing today. We gotta say good morning to the bird. Because it's a nice thing to do. Uh, what are we even thinking about in there? He's thinking about life, man. He's thinking about life. Gotta say hi to our ma. Good morning, ma. Start our day off right. Good morning! Uh, did you feel it last night? No. What? Feel there was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, oh, are we still getting those? Uh, I don't even think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth on a, f on a flood plain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around in it. Uh, I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Uh, get back to me when one of them, like, swallows a house or something. Well, go see if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Uh, went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucen? I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up in, uh, up by the interstate now. Um, for, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm, bye, sweetie. Alright, what are we doing today? What life things are we doing today? Ooh. It's cold and rainy outside. There's still construction that way. It's cold and rainy outside. Kind of depressing in this game. A little bit depressing. Alrighty, let's go visit Greg at the Snack Falcon. The rainy time in this game is kind of depressing. Oh, it's, is it getting to be Halloween? <gasps> That's fantastic. Halloween is honestly my favorite holiday. If you could even consider it a holiday. I just really, really love Halloween. Christmas is a very, very close second, but I honestly love Halloween so much and the rainy when it it's kind of weird I've been told that my opinion on this is kind of weird when it rains a lot of people are like oh it's depressing weather or whatever but I honestly really love it when it's gray outside it makes me really happy actually like it makes me extremely happy when it's sunny outside too but it just makes me really happy when it's gray outside and I don't know why it just makes me happy when it's rainy and you can go outside and splash around in the puddles it's it's really nice alrighty Greg what we're doing hey hey May May oh yeah totally what's up dude uh, I was thinking about going to jail like you're planning on going like you're afraid of going like you're planning on going I think I could break out maybe I should like test my skills of escape I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? Uh, had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Oh man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Um, is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Uh, family stuff. Um, they're not worth talking about. Yeesh. Uh, you wanna hang out? Uh, gotta do work today. Yeah, man, let's roll. I don't know what the hell I'm doing today, so 
Sure, let's roll. Let's hang out with Greg today. Mechanics. What is this? What is this? I love like the different sections of this game. It's so cool. The bullet went clean through. What? Uh, you can still see the, the bullet hole in it. Uh, how did it not kill him? It must have messed up all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great, great granddad was pretty tough. Um, but isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Uh, no, wrong war and wrong country. These were the bad guys. The reads of history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? Uh, when people kept saying it was a fascist hat. Uh, so what did we do? Um, you up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Oh, dude, you're you're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. Uh, so what's the plan? Follow me. Uh, yes, dear leader. Uh, I am both a leader and a deer. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna go commit some more crimes today. Um, a rain sure cleared up. Oh, <gasps> do we get to smack the car up now? Weather boost for us. Uh, so what do we need the bat for? Ta-da! Oh la la. <laughs> F that car up, Private Borowski. So, you brought me out here to watch me beat up a car. Why? Let's go with that one. So, uh, is this like that thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I didn't know that movie. <laughs> Look it up. Uh, so we need the bat. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? Uh, that's privileged info, private. Uh, stop calling me private. I'm general least. I'm gonna go with that one. I don't care what the other option was. No, I'm the general. I got the hat. Uh, that war stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? Uh, I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. Uh, so we're just beating up until the hood pops open? Yeah, we're just gonna beat it up until the hood pops open. Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. S uh, smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah! Yes. Yes! Smash it! Smash it! Release all your anger. Yeah, destroy the fascist car. Yes, destroy the car. Onward revolution. Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, hood's almost open. Um, your time has come. The hood popped open, man. Like, it's, it's right there. Uh, excellent work. Uh, thank you, I agree. Um, you want to do the honors? Uh, am I gonna get electrocuted? Uh, should be fine, should be fine. Uh, the car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but, uh, do you want to do it or not? Uh, I, I do. All right, let's grab a car battery. Okay, so we just wanna grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. Do we have to like, okay. Just, just, just get rid of all those leaves. Okay. This wire, or the, always grab the red wire. Wait, what? What am I supposed to be doing here? What do I do? What? The hand, the hand parts of this game, I can, Never figure out. Arrgh. Whoa. That was an experience. Are we dead now? Is this the Sharkle God in the sky? Sharkle. Yeah, hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? Whoa, you've always been a good friend, May. We've been through so much together, May. You've always, you've, you've always been a good friend, May. What's happening? Every day you'd visit me. You'd remember to click me. Just to say hello. Yes, I'm an excellent friend. Uh, Sharkle, am I dead? Yes. No. No, you're not dead yet. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. You must go back. You are meant for great things. Mayborowski, really? Yes. Not really, no. <laughs> yes, you're meant for b b wonderful things. Wow, yes. Can you be any more specific? Nope. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> okay, this is Greg now. Greg's just laughing at us. <laughs> oh, Greg. Uh, oh, shit. You okay? I think I died. Yeah, I think I, I think that was death. I think that's what death looks like. How long was I out? Like five seconds. Oh, weird. Like time, like stretches. It's a it's a mysterious universe. Uh, we're good to go with the battery. You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. That's not good. <laughs> uh, and anyway, even if I was a fa had a fascist helmet, it's an anarchy symbol on it now, uh, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole through it. Uh, so whoever was wearing it is dead, and I'm like wearing the trophy. Um, so you admit that's a fascist helmet. No, I don't. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so what are we doing? Okay, so, uh, wait, question. Shoot. Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, the thing? Uh, yes, obviously the thing. <laughs> Uh, remember those like, those big like robot robot cartoon characters? They used to have a, the food donkey. I do. Uh, oh my god, is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Um, where the hell did you get it? Uh, you know Steve Scriggins? That's a good last name, Scriggins. Uh, the guy who locked the substitute teacher in the supply closet? The guy who drove little circles around people in the school parking lot? The guy that locked- Scriggins sounds like the last name of the guy who locked supply teachers in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, he was stuck in there over the longest night break. Survived by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. Uh, but he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he dug it out for me. Uh, that's the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that, into that thing. Okay, this sounds straightforward enough. Uh, kinda, it's full of garbage. Why do you need a car battery for this device thing? It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry shakes that and they killed you. I love the humor in this game. This is exactly how I talk to my friends like Why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> it's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, that's a that's a phobia That's one that makes sense at least All right, what do we do? Uh, what were we doing again? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't even we're putting a car battery in something. Oof. This thing smells. Okay. So, that's just old machine smell. No, like, I think something was living here. Okay. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Uh, why don't you eat your own neck? <laughs> that's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. Yes, this is very, very serious business. Uh, see, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. Uh, what was it like? Uh, I saw a shark thing. I could taste my tooth fillings. I saw a shark thing, and it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. <laughs> it couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Clamp. Clamp it. There you go, mate. Clamp, clamp it, mate, Borowski. There we go. Alrighty. Jeez. That looks safe. Are you gonna- are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead like forever. <laughs> do, you, do you see them whining? Um, right. They either, shut, they either shut up and deal or they become ghosts. Um, are you saying I should become a ghost? Uh, uh, yeah, Carpe Diem. Uh, Carpe Diem? Carpe Diem sounds like a fish. <laughs> a fish that tells you to live your damn life. Okay, fine, what are we doing? Uh, now this is the best part. We're going to put this beast together. Uh, do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. Ah. Wah. I love Greg so much. He's so funny. He's great. Oh, here are, all, here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. Uh, so we just clank these together. Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. <laughs> Lots of 
<laughs> Lots of the time stuff goes wrong. Uh, dude, you're no fun. I literally just died. Okay. We're gonna take... What? Wait a second here. Let's take this. Wait a second, how do we do this? Is this an arm? Okay, that's an arm. That's a bit lopsided, but you know what? All right, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna take... Wait a second, we gotta take this leg. Is this a leg? Okay. We gotta take this other leg. This is so cool. We get to build our own little frog frog thing. I think this is, can I use the mouse for this? Oh, okay, great, I can use the mouse for this. Uh, I'm gonna put these on a bit better. This one's longer. Ah, there we go, that makes more sense. Okay, let's put some, let's put some, I feel like these are hands. Let's do that. And then these are feet, right? Right? A nice big cleaver. I don't know what this thing is. What is this? Is this a bottle? I don't know. Okay. Let's just let's just go with the cleaver. Let's do that. Let's put it in this hand. There we go, and put this nice head on, right there. Are we good? Are we done? What do we do? Yes, that is what I want. That is my creation. He's beautiful. Uh, he's perfect. Our beautiful boy, our robot son. So like, this is great and all, um, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery? That's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think. Uh, I don't know, since you've been back in town, I, I think I missed Greg. I think I missed Greg a few years ago. Mm, like the days I mostly work, like these days I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? Uh, we got plans, what plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? Uh, a year ago or now. Um, that's why we're working like seven days a week. But uh, when are you moving? Uh, I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbor? Isn't Bright Harbor like really expensive? Oh, mate, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars, and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. That's an excellent tattoo. Is that a sheep? Yep. Uh, why a sheep? Uh, the tattoo guy was like all the way hot, and it didn't even hurt. Uh, you have a tattoo, and you're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possible Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. How oh, depressing is moving away. Oh, dude, yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for like good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. Uh, that's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so, yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. <laughs> Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pee's a party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Do I get to push a button? <gasps> I get to push a big button. Oh my god, this side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living here is in, the, uh, in this hole. I think I see it. Uh, push it, push it, push it. Yep, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's get rid of all this trash here. Okay. The time is now to push the button. 
I pushed it. Of course I got electrocuted again. Uh, you're... <laughs> Am I in dream world again? Oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh my god! Poor May! Whoa! Ah! It lives! And May is dead! What the? Angus! <laughs> I... Wow! Hey, Angus! How's it going, May? Good! I didn't die this time! You? Uh, good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while, if that's okay. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Alrighty. What, what drawing did we get? I freaking died tonight! Great rules, okay? Alrighty. Hello, Father. Do you have any insightful knowledge for us? How's work? Uh, you know, better than the glass factory. Is it? Uh, I mind, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier than the back, on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. <laughs> Fair. Uh, paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Fair enough, but I mean, that's not really a way that... As long as you're happy with just getting a paycheck, as long as you're happy, that's okay. As long as you're happy. If you don't like your job, but you're fine with it, as long as you're happy, that's fine. Okay, let's go to s bedtime. Yes, we've had a long day of being- of dying. Indeedly do. But I'm going to... Before we go into... Dream world or after. Yeah, I knew we were gonna be in a dream again. Okay, that is all for this episode, guys. Some interesting things. We committed some more crimes. That was fun. And splashing people on the head with water. That was really fun, actually. I had a great time doing that. Yeah, I'm really excited to finish playing this game because I really love where the story is going and I really love, like, I don't know, the just... The, there's not really that much development of the characters, but I just love the characters so much. Greg is so funny. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And that is all for now. Stay lost, my friends, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!